What is good, Neo family? It's your boy Ray J back with another video. And in this one, we're going to be talking about the one and only Neo and why I'm extremely bullish for the near term and long term futures. I'm going to talk about what the mainstream media has been saying about Neo as well. That makes me super excited and bullish. I'm going to talk about what Neo put on their Twitter page that actually is really good news for Neo in terms of his fundamentals. That's absolutely awesome. Now, before I do talk about all this good stuff and the technical analysis, I do have to mention that I'm not a financial legal or taxation expert, so don't take this as financial legal or taxation advice. Everything in this video is solely for entertainment purposes only. And also, if you guys can, please smash the like button if you want to see more videos like this it not only benefits me but benefits the entire new community as a whole with all that said and done and out of the way guys let's get on with the videos looking at neo we ran all the way up to 42.84 today then we dropped down to 40 dollars and 25 cents a share we ran up to 42 dollars and 20 cents and then we closed at 41 49 once again we closed up over 7.32 percent in the green today we're up over 7.32 percent absolutely crushing it that makes me very excited for the future but i do have to note that this was just one day and this was a reaction so do not expect neo to just explode overnight to a hundred dollars i do think that neo is going to break a hundred dollars in uh not too much time from now i think that within a year to a year and a half we could see a number like that but regardless of that and regardless of the fact that i am very bullish for the long-term future i do see some short-term catalysts that have come out that make me very excited now looking at neo right over here from a bollinger standpoint we can see that we touched the upper band for the large majority of the day we did drop and touch the lower band one time or at least just a couple of times very significantly but for the large majority of the day we've been touching the upper band and we closed pretty well now we did drop as we closed kind of dramatically and that's probably because there was a lot of upside but overall it didn't matter because we were up over 7.32 percent so it's still looking really really good now let me look at what other indicators are showing because if i bring up the six month chart real quick check this out uh there is the rsi and the macd and you can see that the rsi is showing 55.01 whereas the macd is showing Currently, it flipped with the nine day moving average. But, like I told you, this could be a little uh, temporary. We could continue to trade a little bit sideways leading up to the big catalyst I see. And I want you guys to remember the days are getting closer. We're getting closer and closer to Neo's Neo Day. And that's going to be absolutely huge, in my opinion, because I think they have some huge announcements. There, there was some uh, reports that came out regarding their um, five European country expansion that's going to be announced. We don't know specifically all the details just yet. They're also going to display their uh, ET7 and maybe some other car. I mean, they have some huge catalyst, guys, especially European expansion, whether it's from Norway or Germany or other countries it's going to be huge now right now the macd is basically showing that there was a flip right now but that's probably because we had a huge day and that doesn't necessarily mean it's going to last i do think we could trade a little sideways leading up to it but like i told you when we get closer to december 18th i see this thing absolutely soaring above 45 dollars. i'm going to be very excited i think a lot of people are going to be excited too there's going to be a lot of hype associated with it and that makes me super super excited now let me show you guys one last thing before i get on with what with what the news is showing so if I show you guys the long-term chart of NEO, you guys can see that we're, we were only $2 a share back in the year 2020. We're already at 41 49 So we're still doing really well if you zoom out. But on top of that, look at the EMA. Look at all these different time frames. You guys can see that right now, we're at a point where it's just balancing back and forth. And you guys can see that we're kind of consolidating at a lower uh, price target. And that also means that we're in an accumulation phase right now because you could look at this from a white cloth perspective and see it you could even zoom in and see it that way so, which means that i do think neo is going to run all the way up to 46 in the near term future and i do think that neo day is going to cause it to not just hit 46 but maybe even go higher to the 50s that makes me very very bullish and right now we could see a bit of a spread from the moving averages over a shorter time frame and that's going to be insane so i'm just putting it out there guys that there are many bullish indicators but don't be surprised if we see a little bit of sideways trading con continuing now before i talk about my, my specific price target for tomorrow let me talk about what the mainstream media has been saying so it says right over here, according to Investor Place, what is going on with EV maker NEO today? And it basically talks about the fact that NEO is up over 7% for the day. It's overall in the green right now. And it says that its gains are not unique. Right now, people are basically reporting that they see NEO actually going up. They see some bullish, bullish news out there, such as Dan Ives. Uh, there were other people saying that they see neo going to relatively high numbers such as 56 dollars within a very short period of time there's also a lot of anticipation for the neo et7 that's the company's latest ev and they're expecting it to 
increase the company's preparation and deliveries for the first quarter of 2022. They aren't talking about the fact that there is more competition such as Lucid and maybe even Rivian or Xpeng. And even though that's the case, it's nothing to be worried about because I think Neo has insane potential. I think they're just, they're kind of like preparing themselves slowly and slowly and slowly because I think 2022 is going to be a absolutely fantastic year for neo it also states right over here according to the motley fool why neo stock blasted higher today and it talks about not just neo's new models or neo day but it does mention something i believe regarding joe biden it did talk about him um still wanting to appoint jerome powell as the chairman of the federal reserve and that's still a relatively good piece of news in my opinion i mean considering who the options were i don't necessarily consider that a bad thing but at the same time that did have a bit of a positive effect on the overall stock market people are happy to know that we're going to continue on the path that we have been on and that's still a pretty good piece of news now for people talking about joe biden doing that and other things just like that uh and he says it right here I want you guys to know that I don't consider that to be the huge catalyst. I do think that that did play a role as Neo did resemble a Tesla. But I, I think that there another big thing that people overlooked is what I showed you guys over the weekend. Remember, Neo announced the completion of at the market offering of American depository shares. That's absolutely awesome. That means that Neo shares could be lent out by banks and then people could actually invest in Neo through American depository shares. America is basically now giving Neo more and more spotlight, so to speak. This is very good for Neo because when selling these shares, that's very awesome because Neo raised over $2 billion dollars and then then you have to deduct commissions and other things like that and they said that the majority of the proceeds are going to be used to strengthen its balance sheet so that's absolutely awesome guys it was an absolute piece of news that's awesome and i think that we're still seeing the reaction of it as neo is still up over 7.32 percent for the day now the last thing i want to talk about is this piece of news right over here neo put on their twitter neo's worry-free service packing a package makes servicing your vehicle convenient and easy Neo can come to you for any of your service needs absolutely fantastic guys i'm very excited for this because i want to put it out there neo is improving their customer service that's absolutely amazing imagine if you have a car and people could come and fix your car and do whatever it is you need to do it i mean i i can't imagine how awesome that would be so once again neo has insanely awesome customer service and i think that's going to improve this company in the future with that said and done guys i do think neo has insane potential and you just have to give it a little bit more time because we're just in the growth phase right now it's still a baby of a company so give it some time anyways i do see this thing going to really high numbers by the year 2022 by 2023 extremely high numbers i'm talking about hundreds of dollars a share but right now for the short term like i told you there are going to be reactions just like what we saw today i mean last week we were at 38 now we're already at 41 49 we're once again really in the green but i think that right now we could see a little bit of sideways action continuing but leading up to neo day is when we're going to see the big 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 move right over here on december 18th that's when we're going to see a big move to the upside in my opinion we should break past 45 quite easily and i definitely think there's going to be a lot of hype with that said and done guys thank you for listening remember neo is not just a short-term play it's also a long-term play remember the long terms and the fundamentals which is what i think makes this company absolutely huge and what why i think it's going to take off with that said and done guys thank you for listening have a great rest of the day and i'll see you on the next one thank you and peace out